Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I updated on this channel but I'm so glad many of you still supported my last video and I look forward to share more. It has been some crazy months and I have been so occupied with the new changes that happened in my life. I'll go into detail in a bit. So in this video, I'm going to show a compiler footage for the past month about what I've been up to and what are the changes that happened and what this pandemic has affected my life as a fashion designer and the reality that I face as a freelancer in Malaysia. So there were a few things that was crammed into August where I got my first and second dose of Pfizer vaccines and was down with some fevers for the subsequent week. For the first dose, I had slight symptoms of fever and discomfort but it wasn't that bad. I could still handle my daily tasks pretty well and after two weeks, I got my second dose of vaccine and that's where I got really tired and sick where I wasn't able to fully function and work around my schedule, let alone sitting for a few hours to edit a video in the right mind. I had to down two paracetamols every four to six hours to relieve the headache and fever and try to get some decent sleep. But all is well now, I'm already back to normal and I feel all right. Other than that, I've been really busy in some new projects on my website www.iijym.com where I started to create online workshops to share about my knowledge and skills as a fashion designer. I've always thought that the support we have locally in the creative or art sector is underdeveloped, where it is just so difficult for a lot of local people who are interested to know more about certain profession in the creative industry. That is why I started in small footsteps for future aspiring fashion designers to have a place to go to and join workshops to gain yeah. insights and talk to me after each workshop to ask more questions. Currently, I just launched a new workshop which is about how to tie-dye in the correct way so that you can preserve the color better as well as learning 5 different techniques that can combine and turn into super interesting results. It is a simple and straightforward online workshop where I allow my students to enjoy full HD video instructions with unlimited playback, captions to follow exactly what I say, comment session to ask questions, notes to download, and live discussions to show your project and share with others. It is a super fun workshop, so anyone who is interested, please go to the link in the description box. And anyone who is a local artist that you think you have something unique to share, please contact me through workshop at iijyn.com and let's hear more from you. So with this new project, I'm slowly transitioning my business from physical to online store as well where I'll be fully focused on online website as far as YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. There are many reasons that led to this decision. When the COVID-19 hit us early 2020, there are a lot of plans that has been cancelled, and many of our overseas customers, especially locals who work in Singapore, as well as Singapore clients, couldn't visit our country anymore, and there were MCO lockdowns, and we are forced to stay at home and work from home. We were lost and what we could do was basically staring at the number of COVID cases climbing up and waiting to get vaccinated and terrified of the news every day that friends and family suffered physically, financially and psychologically. But nevertheless, we tried our best to hang on and keep the store running by introducing new projects, collections, but as soon as it got better, the cases went up again and we had to stay home again and not allowed to open the shop. There were a few times the beauty and fashion businesses were strictly forbidden to have any business activities at all. It's not just us, we can definitely see a lot of people in the country who is affected, many shops nearby that has been forced to close down for good because the area is just empty. Everyone is scared to go out and visit places anymore as the virus seriously got out of hand in July and August. The usual bustling city and shopping area around us became quiet empty streets with only a few cars roll by for groceries. 
It would be a lie if I say I wasn't stressed, but I was lucky to have some projects along the way and kept the store going. And after a year and a half, I decided to take a leap and go full throttle on my own website and store, where I decided I could do a lot more online now than in a physical store, since human interaction has now limited to online conversations. I still have my online discussions for me to measure designs, and I'm determined to share even more good quality sustainable designs and garments to the local and international audiences, as I believe sustainability is still the future to clothing. And to create less waste during our production stage, we have decided to keep everything in a pre-order form, where we can produce those designs with sustainability in mind. I'm excited to bring more new and exciting projects up online and share with many of you, so check out my website for more in the link under the description box. Besides working from home, I do try to keep a work-life balance by having meals on time, play with my favorite cat Blue, as well as go for a stroll at places that has less people going around and watch the sunset. I hope all of you guys are doing okay out there and feel free to comment below and share about your life working from home. How did the pandemic affected your life? The happy or the bad things that happened in your life? I'd like to lend you my ear if you have something to share. So that's all for today and I'm working on the next video so stay tuned for new updates. Please like and click the subscribe button if you haven't already clicked them. Your support means a world to me. See you in the next video. Bye for now.